There are all sorts of cases that have stuck with me, but I've always kind of recognized that I'm dealing with the worst time in somebody's life. And I guess I, I've never talked or wanted to talk about my, my favorite case or the one I'm most proud of because somebody else's tragedy, I'm not going to talk about it like it's an accomplishment for me. Um, personally, I know the toughest one was amongst the many uh, sexual assaults of children cases that I handled. There was one where the little seven-year-old girl looked just like my daughter. And she didn't want to go in the courtroom. I mean, we put an incredible amount of burden on little children in trying those kinds of cases. Defendants have a right to face their accuser, but when I went out in the hallway to get that girl, she didn't want to go in. She pulled back against me. She started to tear up. Um, then, of course, so did I. There's a whole courtroom of people and jurors and everybody waiting for us in there. And the fact that I was, felt like I was dragging her in there to face this guy at a time that she didn't get to choose in front of a courtroom full of strangers to talk about the things that he had done to her and that he had threatened to kill her if she ever told, and then I'm seeing my daughter right there. She was a freckle-faced little seven-year-old kid, and that just, that just made it even worse. And so that was the hardest, because that was, a, I mean, that was the, an intersection that at the moment I wasn't really prepared for and didn't really know how I should handle it.